Hey Internet, Orc speaking here with a quick little tutorial on how to install the Weave Balance Pack for Dolphin users. Now the first thing that we need to do is open up Dolphin. Then you're going to right click on the game WBFS or ISO. For legal reasons, I can't show you how to get this. Just know that if you have a hard copy of Mario Kart Wii, you could mod your Wii and rip the ISO from that. And as long as you have a physical copy of the game, you are allowed to have a digital version of it some legal gray zone, don't quote me on any of that. Once you get the ISO, you're going to right click, go to properties and go to file system. Now you're going to right click the disc, make sure you're not doing the disk partition, go to the highest level that you can, and you're going to click extract entire disc. And here we're gonna just locate this to some place. I'm gonna put it in my games folder and I'm gonna make a new file called rebalanced. You can name it whatever you want. Just make sure that you know where the file path is going to where you're saving it. Click select folder and it will automatically begin extracting all of the necessary files out of the vanilla version of Mario Kart Wii. Now while it's loading all of these things, I want to mention that you have to be using an experimental version of at least 5.0 point something, some kind of experimental version. The stable version of Dolphin 5.0 does not support reading direct files, which is very important. We need to be able to mess with direct files. That's how all of this works. So make sure that you're using the latest version of Dolphin. Next, go to wherever you saved the game. I saved it to documents, games, rebalance. So all of the data stuff is right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my desktop into two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over the Dolphin rebalanced content. Make sure that you go down to the same amount of levels that I'm going to. So I'm going inside of stat mod and inside of, of the data folder. So you should be at this level where it says system files, disk and all of these bins files. Now what you're going to do, be very careful with this, you're going to copy this layer where it says stat mod and this layer where it says data. You're gonna click paste. And if you did everything correctly after it calculates, there should be about 800 files that it asks you to replace. There you go, 867 files with the same names. Click replace the files in the destination. Now this could take a while. Basically what you're doing is you're replacing all the files, the individual game files with these modded non-vanilla versions. And this could take a bit. There's a lot of tiny little files, which takes longer to copy over compared to, you know, one big massive file. Seems to be going pretty quick. All right. Now that it's all copied over, we are going to do the final step, arguably the most important step, and go to config inside of Dolphin and go to path. Now I already have it set to Dolph document slash games and be sure to tick the search subfolders. That way it looks inside of folders as well. Click close. Click the refresh button. And if you did everything correctly, you should have another copy of Mario Kart Wii that has a file size of zero. If we double click this and we run, I'm gonna tab right through it. There you go. The rebalance version all installed just to prove that it works. You can see all the fonts are working, all the music is working. I have the music muted, but you get the idea. Koopa doing Koopa things. Check out that drift stat. All right. And it's installed perfectly. Looks great, works great. Now to actually play the rebalance mod, that's all you have to do. But there's an additional step, which is called dumping your Wii's NAND into Dolphin, which is like copying the Wii's ID over to Dolphin. And this will allow you to play Dolphin online as well. Now to get the Wii's NAND, you're going to have to homebrew your Wii and install the boot me loader as well. Once you install all of that, go into the homebrew, click the start menu, and then go down to the boot me loader. And this will send you to a page that looks very similar to this. You're gonna go to the right and you're gonna click on the one that shows the data being transferred to the SD card, the green icon. And of course you're gonna need an SD card for this, preferably one one that's at least a gigabyte large. Once you do that, bring it back onto your computer. There'll be a file on your SD called nand.bin. Be sure not to share this NAND with anyone else. This is your Wii's custom ID. But what you're going to do now is once you're on Dolphin, you're gonna click tools. You're gonna go to manage NAND, import boot me NAND backup, and you're gonna add the NAND that you just created. So my NAND is right here, as you can see. I have a friend's NAND, so I'm not gonna be using that. So you double click this, it'll import the NAND over. And assuming that you aren't banned from WinFi, which if that's the case, tough luck, you should be able to jump right on WinFi. This is always the awkward part of making tutorials. Like sometimes me talking doesn't line up precisely with what's showing up on the screen. So you have this awkward pause, but let me just wait just to prove that, you know, this works. Connecting to WinFi. By the way, if it fails a few times, don't worry too much about that. That's pretty normal. If you get an error code, check up what that error code is. As you can see, I am connected to the WinFi. No problem at all. I could start playing online from Dolphin on my computer. It's as easy as that. So I hope that was helpful. If you aren't already, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.